Hey there, it's Dave Pompes here, hpyloriesymptoms.com, and a very quick video on H. pylori to discuss some of the drawbacks of taking conventional antibiotic triple therapy treatment to get rid of H. pylori. Now, the first drawback of the treatment programs used in medicine is the fact that they're only 70% effective. We know from very recent literature in 2012 from a whole suite of studies that were done around the world, that when people take treatment for H. pylori prescribed by the doctor, it only works seven times out of 10. That's the first major drawback, it doesn't always work. The second drawback is that the treatment can cause a lot of side effects. So triple therapy involves taking two antibiotics and a proton pump inhibitor, which blocks stomach acid production. Those three drugs taken uh, two, three times a day can create a lot of side effects in the body. So typically diarrhea, bloating, uh, heartburn, constipation in some people, metallic taste in the mouth, headaches, fatigue, general aches and pains in the body, they can all be side effects of the triple therapy treatment. The third major drawback is you can actually create more problems by taking the antibiotics. So removing the fact that they don't always work and removing the fact that they cause side effects, they can also trigger other problems in the body. You may be aware of the fact that when you take antibiotics, you may wipe out or certainly compromise the population of good bacteria that is in your digestive system. We have trillions and trillions of bacteria lining our digestive tract and they help us digest food. They support our immune system. They help to reduce inflammation, they help to keep other bad bugs away, and they communicate with our nervous system, and they do a whole bunch of really important and beneficial things in our digestive tracts. When we take antibiotics, we can imbalance those good bacteria, and that can allow some of the bad bugs to overgrow and proliferate. So we have bad bacteria, fungi like candida and parasites. Now those bugs may be hanging around in the gut already, but when we take the antibiotics and disrupt our good bug population, then the bad bugs can actually start to proliferate and cause problems. And so it's not uncommon for people to develop things like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, candida overgrowth, when they take triple therapy and the research supports that particular suggestion or notion. The fourth disadvantage of taking the antibiotics is that you may build up antibiotic resistance it's a massive, massive problem. The chief medical officer for England recently stated that we're heading for an antibiotic apocalypse. And what she meant by that is that if we continue using antibiotics all the time, when we don't really need to use them, we're gonna end up breeding antibiotic resistance into a number of bad bugs that have the potential to then create um, plagues and epidemics, just as the ones we saw back in medieval times. So it's a real, real problem. So I encourage you, before you take medical treatment for H. pylori, to consider the different options that you have. I would never suggest not taking the triple therapy treatment, but I want to open your mind and your awareness to the fact that there are very effective alternatives. And those alternatives involve changing your diet and taking natural supplements that have just as much uh, of a beneficial effect on wiping out the H. pylori as the antibiotics do but they don't create the same level of um, side effects and they don't run the risk of developing antibiotic resistance. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you'd like further information on how to uh, fight H. pylori without using the antibiotics, please visit my website at hpylorisymptoms.com and we'll be pleased to help you out. My name is Dave Pompes and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks a lot.